2,500 orders in one week. Yum, Thick, yum. Juicy, fresh. Where's my salt and pepper? Like, this is oh, one of the cup. nicest snacks you will ever. Yeah, salt. look at you. With the raw, oh, it's so good. Yummy on its own, right? Look how. I mean, that's just healthy. You could just tell that that's garden grown. Our all-star beef and slicer tomato life plants are up next. You get four of them, all right? So you're getting the beef, and the beef steak and the slice. Look at this thing. That's the beef steak. Look at this thing. I need two hands. This is the slicer. <laughs> and these are bred for flavor, <laughs> not anything else. Flavor, flavor, flavor. You're going to get two Daddy. of the big league beefsteak tomato plants, 20 to 25 pounds. Oh my gosh, you're gonna have to call your friends. From each of your plants. And you're gonna get two of the Celebrity Plus slicers. These are great as well to cube them and they're all bred oh, for flavor, good. not smells like summer. for shelf life. So when you so can what's the see difference? the difference, well, when you go to a grocery store, those tomatoes are bred to travel across the country, state after state after state, and not get bruised and damaged. Right, and then sit in the grocery store for a week. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what's bred out of them, though? Flavor. Flavor. Yep. Absolutely the that flavor. That's such a good point. Have you ever, like, bought a, a tomato and you taste it? This doesn't taste like anything. It's just wet, right? Yeah. You know that, like, sweet and salty and earthy taste from a really good healthy tomato like if you go to a farm to table restaurant and they give you a salad and you're like oh that's what it's supposed to taste like right Absolutely. that's how it starts this is what you're going to get right out of the box when you get these there's four uh tomato plants here two of the big leagues that are the big beef steaks and two of the uh celebrity now choice. will i know which is which when I yes go? you'll know okay. what they are Thank they're you. all marked so if you want we could uh do a little potting demo later but first let's just talk about the ease of growth now that you can grow these in containers jen these are not the ones that uh yeah look at that <laughs> That you have to go out and have this a big garden. Jack and the Beanstalk. And yeah, well, actually, for a tomato plant, let me just come around the side here and show you. Oh. For a tomato plant that produces 20 to 25 pounds, this is actually a very manageable short plant. It's only about three to four feet tall. So this only. gives you the scale. Well, the other tomatoes yes. that Grandma used to right. do, they have to weed until eight to 10 feet tall for a beef For stand. anything to happen, yeah. Yes, no longer. Wow. So this is manageable. It grows in a container. Brian wants to know how many tomatoes, like we're, because we're, obviously they're all different sizes. We're saying like 25 pounds of yes, tomatoes. Brian. Can you imagine walking out of the grocery store with 25 pounds of tomatoes and how much that would cost? And, and what they would taste like, taste like, what, taste like yeah, nothing. Yeah, you wouldn't even want to yes, eat 25 Brian, pounds. Yes, Brian, each plant of will make 25 pounds. Yeah, tomatoes. Brian's figuring out, the, the gears are turning yeah. here. So you're talking, um, I hope you have a lot of friends and I hope you have neighbors. Because you'll have surplus. Because you're going to have a surplus, yeah. guys. You're going to be canning. You're going to be like, you know what? We're grilling tonight. We're just grilling tomatoes. So come over. You're going to make sauces. Look at the stuffed tomatoes. Yes. Use BLTs. A breakfast, lunch, BLTs, dinners. Uh, this is my favorite way. Are you just making a tomato sammy? I like a tomato I sandwich. I like good old plain white bread. Okay. I smear a mayonnaise and a big old. Oh, that's a big slice. And there you yes. go. Yes. This is delicious for me. I would do that, but I would toast the bread. All right. Do you need a napkin? Because that's some juicy. I love how he ate. He didn't mm. hand it to me. It's okay. That's part of the fun of it. I love it. <laughs> so tasty. You get the juice running down. Look at this. Look at how, you know how when the light hits a really healthy plant and it just <clears throat> lights up? Like, have we forgotten mm. what really good homegrown so food tastes like? I mean, there are, you know, I know you know this. There are kids and teenagers who have never tasted that. Never and seen it's such a tomato shame. plant. And we all want to eat more healthy. healthy. Yes. We all want to do it at an economical price, though. And it's got to be fun and easy. And these are. These are grow in the ground. You know what else is wonderful about these? That. Is that they will produce fruit in 50 days. That's short for a tomato plant. Other okay, when tomatoes. do I, so I get them for whenever it's best for my area, right? You're gonna get them, yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna start them in a container or in the ground if you so want juicy. to. But these are so juicy, so flavorful. 50 days you get fruit. 50 days, and that's about uh, six, uh, 
I'm sorry, about like four to weeks. six weeks yeah. earlier than other beefsteak tomatoes. Okay. If I can give you a couple of hints. Please. All right. So you're going to want to feed your tomatoes. This one bag of tomato food has the calcium and the micronutrients for tomatoes and vegetables. Okay. Pick this up. This one bag will feed the entire collection. So I think the graphic guys that we're showing is for the uh, the bounty plant food, but there yeah. is also a tomato food. Just to be, I know you can find it on QVC.com. Right. Ask like, for the tomato. Yep. Ask for the tomato. And then also ask for these. These are grandma's secret weapon. Marigold, but these are not any marigold. These are Taishan marigolds from China. They're huge flowers, but these bring in the pollinators. You can't oh, even see you over I there. know, it's okay. I'm not important. <laughs> Look at <laughs> this. So <laughs> they bring in the pollinators, but they keep away the pests. Oh. Like tomato hornworms. If you get one tomato hornworm, it could decimate a, a tomato plant overnight. So get these as well. That's my tips. Guess what? I've never even heard of a tomato horn. You don't want to. So I'll show I'm you a not, picture after. Uh, They're no, really no, gross no, looking. No, 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 no. I just want to. I just want to look at that. Oh, I'm so excited for those of you picking it up. It's M95114. 800 orders in our show. That's 5,300 wow. since we started. People love these tomatoes, Ooh, and they're so easy. Save that for me. These are for taste. <laughs> these are for speed. These are for yield. Yum, 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 yum. So this is how we started our show.